no other life skill can impact you as broadly as learning how to negotiate well. Enhancing our ability to negotiate effectively affects not only business contracts and career opportunities, but also our personal relationships. Welcome back to our ongoing series on the art of negotiation. Today, we'll delve deeper into our discussion by exploring the Harvard principles of negotiation. Harvard faculty and staff have extensively studied negotiations across various domains from business to national and international politics, identifying four crucial elements for successful negotiation, people. A fundamental aspect of successful negotiation is to separate personalities from the problem and the issues at hand. It's essential to remain unemotional and keep focus on the subject matter. Avoid being swayed by personalities, whether positively or negatively. Interests. Start the negotiation process by clearly identifying the interests or needs of all parties involved. Before listing what you want, outline the outcomes you aim to achieve. Understand what you need to accomplish your goals. Prior to negotiations, ensure clarity on the other party's wants and needs. Ask them about their ideal outcome for the discussion. Options. Rather than engaging in arguments over differing points, generate a range of options in areas of disagreement. Develop multiple possibilities using brainstorming techniques, such as mind mapping or whiteboarding. Criteria, establish objective criteria, often referred to as boundary conditions before negotiating. Determine how to evaluate whether the negotiated outcome is favorable for both parties. Clearly define what needs to be avoided, achieved, or preserved. Once both parties are clear on their negotiation objectives, compare various options against these criteria. In summary, articulate what constitutes a favorable deal for both parties based on the established criteria. A good deal will satisfy this condition. It will give us that result. It will achieve this goal. Then, discuss ways to fulfill the interests and needs outlined while adhering to the objective criteria. This is a powerful process of negotiating that keeps people's minds focused solely on the objectives and prevents them from being steered off course by personalities and tangential issues. The power of suggestion in negotiation. Human beings are profoundly influenced by their surroundings and the suggestions emanating from people and situations around them. An astonishing 95% of our thoughts, emotions, and decisions are either influenced or entirely controlled by our suggestive environment. Your responsibility is twofold. First, to recognize the suggestive influences present and their potential impact on your own thinking as well as that of the other party. Second, to exert every effort to manage and control these elements. Consider, for instance, the significance of location. The setting in which a negotiation occurs can significantly shape the terms and conditions agreed upon. When negotiating in someone else's office, surrounded by their furniture, staff, and other elements, you automatically find yourself at a disadvantage when advocating for your interests. Being outside your comfort zone while the other person is firmly situated in theirs creates a distinct psychological imbalance. The other party will likely exude greater confidence and a sense of personal power, while you may experience diminished confidence and a feeling of inferiority. In many instances, particularly in weighty negotiations, such as labor disputes, political discussions, or complex business deals, both parties will opt to convene in a neutral location, devoid of any psychological advantage for either party, even a seemingly simple suggestion. Like proposing to discuss matters over coffee or lunch at a neutral diner can prove a superior to negotiating in the other person's domain where they hold a psychological upper hand. By consciously controlling the environment in which negotiations take place, you can ensure a more equitable and favorable outcome for all parties involved. Personality serves as another influential factor in negotiations. The most effective demeanor in a negotiation is one that is empathetic, warm, and friendly. Establishing a comfortable rapport with the other party fosters openness and receptiveness to their requests. Conversely, a reserved or abrasive demeanor is less likely to yield favorable outcomes. Empathy is recognized as the primary psychological attribute of successful salespeople. Those adept at facilitating business transactions demonstrate a high degree of empathy, earning the liking and respect of others, thereby creating a conducive environment for negotiations. Positioning and body language also play a crucial role. According to Albert Moravian of UCLA, 
55% of communication is conveyed through body language. Sitting directly across from the other party can inadvertently foster an adversarial atmosphere, signaling confrontation. Opting for a round table or sitting diagonally promotes a more cooperative environment conducive to reaching agreements. Moreover, body language, including hand gestures and posture, significantly influences negotiation dynamics. Crossing arms may signal defensiveness or disagreement, hindering effective communication and agreement. Thus, maintaining open and receptive body language fosters a conducive negotiation environment. Open hands symbolize openness, honesty, and sincerity, conveying that your intentions are reasonable and friendly in a negotiation. Sitting with unfolded arms and hands out, palms up, suggests a non-threatening demeanor conducive to agreement. Leaning forward, attentively listening, focusing on the other party's words and nodding further enhances a positive and warm impression, demonstrating genuine interest in reaching a mutually acceptable agreement, creating a comfortable physical environment, including suitable furniture, lighting, and temperature is crucial for effective negotiation. Being well rested before entering a negotiation enhances cognitive function and decision-making ability. Prioritize proper nutrition and hydration as they significantly impact brain function. Opt for brain-boosting foods high in protein and avoid foods that induce a drowsiness. Sharing a meal with the other party can foster a positive rapport and increase likability. Attitude also plays a vital role in negotiations. A positive attitude characterized by cheerfulness and optimism is more effective in achieving desired outcomes than a negative attitude. The walk-away method. This is a potent strategy in negotiation, essential for securing favorable outcomes. Prior to engaging in any negotiation, it's imperative to be prepared to walk away if your primary objectives aren't met. This necessitates thorough research on your negotiating partners to understand their wants, needs, and limitations. Entering a negotiation armed with options empowers you to maintain freedom of choice, enhancing your bargaining position, and increasing the likelihood of achieving a favorable deal. Personally, I make it a priority to be in a position where I can walk away at any moment, bolstering my bargaining strength and ensuring optimal outcomes. When employing the walkaway method, clarity and directness are key. I often request the other party's best price up front, indicating that I will make a decision based on that figure alone. This approach can unsettle counterparts who may have anticipated a different starting point, often leading to more favorable terms. Refusing to engage in prolonged negotiation or quibbling, I prefer to focus on the walkaway price. Whether buying or selling, I establish clear parameters from the outset, minimizing unnecessary back and forth and expediting the negotiation process. Some may question the feasibility of walking away, fearing missed opportunities. However, walking away is a strategic maneuver, not a final decision. It serves as a powerful negotiating tactic, signaling seriousness and prompting counter offers. In a recent car purchase negotiation, despite initial resistance, we persisted in walking away until the saleswoman ultimately offered the car at a significantly reduced price. This anecdote underscores the importance of developing the courage to walk away repeatedly until achieving the desired outcome. Remember, you never know what the best price is until you get up and walk away. You simply must develop the courage to do it over and over until it becomes a normal and natural part of your negotiating skills. Negotiations are never final negotiations should be viewed as continuous endeavors rather than finite events. No negotiation is set in stone, and it's crucial to recognize that circumstances can evolve leading to the need for revisiting and potentially reopening discussions. For instance, if you come across new information that alters your understanding of the situation or presents new opportunities, it's perfectly acceptable to approach the other party and propose revisiting the negotiation. Flexibility and adaptability are key traits in navigating the ever-changing landscape of negotiations. The concept of the Chinese contract emphasizes the importance of fostering long-term relationships built on mutual trust and respect. When negotiating with parties you anticipate engaging with repeatedly over time, prioritizing their satisfaction and well-being becomes integral to maintaining fruitful collaborations and achieving mutually beneficial outcomes. By remaining open to revisiting negotiations and prioritizing the happiness of all parties involved, you can cultivate enduring partnerships founded on mutual understanding and cooperation. Feel free to reach out if the situation evolves 
and you find yourself dissatisfied with the terms we've agreed upon, don't ever feel constrained by a signed agreement after a negotiation. It's important to remain open to revisiting discussions and seeking adjustments if circumstances change. When proposing to renegotiate an agreement, it's essential to offer something of value in return. People are more likely to entertain renegotiations when they see a clear benefit or advantage for themselves. Take the time to identify what you can offer the other party before initiating the conversation. Consider compiling a list of all the benefits and advantages you can bring to the table and use these as leverage to persuade the other party to reconsider the terms. Demonstrating how reopening negotiations can be mutually beneficial strengthens your case for renegotiation. During a challenging period in my business career, I encountered financial difficulties due to a sudden economic downturn that led to a significant reduction in my business's revenue. As a result, I found myself unable to meet the monthly principal payments on a bank loan I had secured. However, I discovered a valuable insight in the banking industry. As long as the interest on the loan is paid regularly, the loan is considered current, sparing the bank from repercussions. Armed with this knowledge, I approached my bank manager, Bob Murray, and proposed a solution. I explained that while I couldn't afford the principal payments, I could commit to paying the monthly interest until my business recovered. To my surprise, Bob agreed, and we quickly renegotiated the terms of the loan to accommodate this arrangement. Similarly, when my business faced a situation where I couldn't meet all my financial obligations, I took a proactive approach. Rather than avoiding communication with creditors, I met with each one personally to explain my predicament. I outlined the challenges my business was facing due to the economic downturn and expressed my commitment to repaying every cent owed with interest once my business regained stability. Remarkably, my creditors were understanding and willing to collaborate. They agreed to accept small monthly payments to keep the accounts current, showing a willingness to work with me during this challenging period. As a result of these negotiations and commitments, my business was able to recover within six months and I fulfilled all my financial obligations. These experiences taught me the importance of being proactive and transparent in negotiating difficult situations. If you find yourself in a similar predicament due to past negotiations or financial challenges, don't hesitate to approach the involved parties and propose reasonable changes to the terms and conditions. By offering a viable solution and demonstrating your commitment to resolving the situation, you may find that others are willing to cooperate and work towards a mutually beneficial outcome. The traits of a successful negotiator are discernible through their approach and conduct during negotiations. Here are the key characteristics that distinguish them. Long-term perspective. Successful negotiators view negotiation as an ongoing process rather than a one-time event. They understand that compromise and adjustment to conflicting interests are inherent in various aspects of life. This perspective allows them to adapt to changing situations and maintain a constructive mindset. Flexibility. They are open-minded and adaptable, avoiding rigid positions. Instead of clinging to fixed ideas, successful negotiators remain flexible and are quick to identify mutual goals. They are willing to modify or abandon their stance based on new information or insights. Cooperation. Successful negotiators approach negotiations with a cooperative mindset rather than a combative one. They perceive negotiation as a collaborative effort aimed at finding mutually beneficial solutions. Their focus is on achieving outcomes where both parties feel satisfied rather than solely aiming to win. Creativity. They employ creativity and problem-solving skills to navigate negotiations. Rather than engaging in direct competition, successful negotiators seek innovative solutions that address the interests of all parties involved. They prioritize finding win-win outcomes over asserting dominance. Integrity. Integrity is paramount for successful negotiators. They avoid manipulation, tricks, or deceitful tactics to gain an advantage. Instead, they uphold ethical standards and prioritize fairness and transparency in their interactions. Strategic thinking. Successful negotiators think strategically, considering both short-term and long-term implications of their decisions. In one-off negotiations, they strive to secure the best possible deal. However, in business negotiations where ongoing relationships are at stake, they also plan for future interactions and collaborations. 
By embodying these traits and practices, successful negotiators can navigate complex negotiations effectively, fostering positive outcomes and maintaining fruitful relationships with counterparts. Successful negotiators possess several key characteristics and practices that set them apart. Firstly, they perceive negotiation as an ongoing process, recognizing that compromise and adjustment are inherent in conflicting interests. They remain open-minded and adaptable, eschewing rigid positions in favor of flexibility and a willingness to identify mutual goals. Cooperation, rather than combativeness, defines their approach. They approach negotiation as a creative endeavor, seeking solutions that satisfy both parties rather than focusing solely on victory. Importantly, they refrain from manipulation or deceit, instead prioritizing honesty and sincerity in their interactions. Contrary to popular belief, successful negotiation does not rely on trickery or psychological tactics. Honest and straightforward individuals who are clear about their objectives and committed to reaching mutually beneficial agreements tend to fare best in negotiations. Ultimately, success in negotiation is rooted in integrity and a genuine desire to find solutions that benefit all parties involved. Instead of relying on manipulation or deceit, you can achieve success in negotiation by being straightforward, honest, and transparent about your objectives. Remembering the four essentials of negotiation will help you become and remain an excellent negotiator. Get the facts and prepare in advance. Knowledge is power in negotiation. Gather as much information as possible about the other party's wants, needs, and situation to empower yourself with options and alternatives. Ask for what you want. Be assertive in expressing your desired outcomes at the beginning of the negotiation. Don't hesitate to ask for favorable terms as negotiation allows for discussion and adjustment. Seek win-win solutions. Aim for mutually beneficial agreements rather than seeking to gain an advantage at the other party's expense. Recognize that long-term relationships are built on fairness and cooperation, not exploitation. Practice, practice, practice. Negotiation is a skill that improves with practice. Take every opportunity to negotiate, whether it's in purchasing items or handling business deals. Continual practice will sharpen your negotiation skills and save you time and money in various aspects of life. By honing your negotiation skills, you can effectively save resources and enhance your success both professionally and personally. Remember, negotiation is a lifelong journey. So commit to learning and applying these techniques consistently. With dedication and practice, you can become an adept negotiator and achieve your desired outcomes.